I got the Erie Touch at the beginning of the year, and it's become more and more of an integral part of my life setup. And aside from playing notes on it, one of the things that uh, I've started doing on it is to be able to use it sort of as a board where um, I bring up filters and different components that I can control while I'm playing live. Uh, one of them is an example of one of my songs uh, called How Mia, where I'm doing this upbeat uh, synth part. And as I'm moving it across, it's opening up the filter and the volume a little bit. Um, this was kind of tricky, kind of using their internal app as well as Mainstage to, to be able to accomplish this. So I kind of wanted to just go over some general ideas in terms of how I map this out um, to give you some, um, maybe some motivation on how you can use it, especially in a live setup where it really allows you to kind of control where things are going and to be able to kind of build effects and do things like that. So in Erie Lab, I'm using one of their templates. Um, I just mapped out all the continuous control stuff differently. Um, so if you can see here, I've designated channel. Uh, I've set up all the root notes and everything, which I don't remember if they were like this or I, I, I changed them up. Uh, but each of them, as I'm going across, it's sending uh, continuous control information um, that I can then use on main stage. Um, so basically going uh, horizontally has one continuous control and going vertically has another continuous control. Um, and then here on main stage, the way I have it set up is um, in the layout area, I've taken an XY pad that you can see right here, and it's unmapped because um, I do them on individual patches. So here it's unmapped, but it's allowing me to be able to assign the corresponding continuous controls between the vertical and horizontal movements. So as I'm moving, uh, as I'm playing the area touch and I'm moving across uh, the pad, it'll affect that sound. So for this particular one, I'm using Spire um, synth. Uh, it's actually one of their presets. Uh, which I use quite a bit and sounds really nice. And then on here, I've put Logic's auto filter on here. And so as I'm moving my finger across, uh, you, you can start seeing on here a more of a visual representation of what's happening. So you'll see um, the cutoff here, and then you'll see this movement as my fingers move, how it brings it up. So. And it's really accurate. That's that's the beautiful thing about it is that um, it's the touch sensitivity on this is really great, and uh, I've been able to map it out for different things for different results. But this is still one of my favorites just because it allows me to play all over the all over the pad without uh, being specific, but it still allows me to kind of build that sound up uh, in a live setting where it's not just something that's pre-programmed, but it still allows me to kind of bring it back down and do different things with it. Um, so here here's an example of how I use it during this song. They're in this build up right here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's a pretty quick rundown. I'm gonna try to start doing more of these on my Patreon page, going de delving a little bit deeper into the very specifics of it. But uh, you know, I think it gives you a pretty good general idea of of the workflow and being able to take two of the different controllers here, uh, vertical and horizontal, and being able to translate it into something that, uh, in my case, for electronic music, allows me to do a lot more live control, which uh, is part of. Uh, my persona and part of what I spent a lot of time figuring out. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.